Hey everybody, what's up? Carl Schuff here from Snorkel.tv and today I'm going to show you how we can use the new Asset Warp tool in Animate CC 2019 to make this cool wiggly snake worm thing. Let's go. Alright, so here I have Animate CC 2019 opened up. I'm going to take the snake out of the library. This is actually a graphic symbol, it's important to note. And I'm going to go to the Asset Warp tool and when I go to click on a symbol, you'll notice that it's not allowing me to do anything. So it's important to note that the Asset Warp tool will not work on symbols. We'll have to break it apart into a vector. So I'm going to do Command B. And now all the vector artwork is highlighted. And now I'm just gonna click right here to drop an Asset Warp handle, if you will. And you'll notice that the shape gets filled with this wireframe mesh. I'm gonna drop another one right in the center and right between the eyes. So with these little uh, Asset Warp handles, what I can do is move them around and rotate them. So I'm going to start with the tail, and I'm just going to rotate down a little bit. I'm going to take the head and have him go in the opposite direction. And to smooth things out a little bit, I'm going to select the center one and just do a little bit of that. And I have this really nice S shape that I'm pretty happy with. In frame number 15, I'm going to add another keyframe by hitting F6. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in frame number 30. I'm gonna do what I refer to as a pulsing animation where our start and end states are gonna be the same, but we're going to change stuff in the middle. So back in frame 15, I'm now gonna take the tail and I'm going to make it go the other way. I'm gonna take the head and make it go the other way. And it looks a little bit weird here, but I can fix things by just changing this center point around. And there we have the S in the opposite direction. Now, if I want to tween between these different states, no big deal, right click, create classic tween, right click, and create classic tween. Now I have this really nice and smooth wiggly snake, or maybe it's a worm, I'm really not quite sure. Now to get this snake to move across the stage, I think it would make sense to have this animation inside of a symbol. So I'm gonna select all these frames here, right click, and do a cut frames. And I'm not so sure why this little frame here is staying behind, but I'm going to shift F6 it out of existence. I'm gonna to go to insert new symbol. I'm gonna call it snake animation, hit okay. And then inside the snake animation symbol, I'm just gonna right click and do a paste frames. Now back in scene one, I'll go to my library I'll take my snake animation out of the library. Good to have the selection tool selected. We'll move them over here. And in frame number 60, what am I gonna do? My keyframe, drag him all the way across to here. Right click, create classic tween, and let's test this thing out. Awesome, we got a nice wiggly snake motion going across the stage. The warping looks awesome and I'm thrilled. Oh, and before I let you go, I just want you to know that Asset Warp also works on bitmap images. This pencil here is a bitmap, and you'll see the real quick that I can turn it into a rubber pencil. I also want to let you know that Asset Warp works in both ActionScript 3.0 documents and HTML5 Canvas, so feel free to use it anywhere. Asset Warp is a lot of fun, but it takes a little bit of practice, so I'd urge you to download the source files for the snake, try to do it yourself, or use your own imagery. I'm guessing you could draw a better snake than I can, and I'd love to see it. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you liked the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell. Ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day. Normal daddy.